and we're underway with what will undoubtedly be an incredibly destructive Elimination Chamber match. How they got this gigantic structure in this arena is beyond me, guys. Wow. Big time slam. Vicious. like this, that may be what puts him over the top. You never want to count oh. a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Big punch finds its mark. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. I've been told that it's impossible for a superstar to describe the anxiety in anticipation of waiting inside the shatterproof glass pods and be the next combatant released into the chamber. We've seen superstars do everything they can to avoid entering the match. Oh, who's coming out next? Who is it? Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. There have been so many incredible moments from the battles that have been waged inside the Elimination Chamber. Corey, earlier you talked about when a superstar exits their pod and enters the Elimination Chamber match. One superstar's entry into the chamber that I'll always remember is Kurt Angle's at 2006's New Year's Revolution. Kurt Angle entered the chamber without any fear and without any hesitation. The Olympian was focused on taking out whoever was in front of him, and that's exactly what he did. The decorated champion handed out belly-to-back suplex after another like he was handing out gifts to kids at Christmas. Angle was a walking suplex machine. When we talk about the Elimination Chamber and how its evolution has caused unspeakable pain to WWE superstars, we need to go back to the beginning. At the 2002 Survivor Series, this ominous structure... Didn't have to dig very deep. Might have slipped there, bro. That's how you wear down your opponent. The 2002 Elimination Chamber ended it. No trouble kicking out of that one. Not yet. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Ooh, what impact. Devastating elbow. And there's no the impact. That could be it, guys. What a stop. Good grief. In 2017, the Elimination Chamber structure underwent a total overhaul. The chamber now stood 24 feet in height and was comprised of 10 tons of steel. There was more chain link added to the structure as well. The chain link can rip a superstar's body apart in an instant. There we go. Vicious attack. How much more punishment needs to put a strike? I don't remember the last time his shoulders are down. When we discuss the Elimination Chamber, the easiest way to put it is every square inch of chamber inflicts tremendous damage on the human body and psyche. The Elimination Shoulders on the mat. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. He isn't going to go away that easy. Oh my goodness, crushing it! He's got him covered. And the kick out. I think more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. inside this massive and unforgiving structure. I can tell you with all certainty. This might be it! Oh my! This is all but over. And a pin attempt. Right in the mouth. Relentless. He could do it here. 
And he breaks the cover. Too soon. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. DDT. Beautiful technique. Wow, Big Show's taking some heat here. To be expected, though. It's not like he's in there with... Oh, my gosh, from what heights. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Oh, man! Ouch. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, my God. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Big Show clearly out of his element at this point. I did not expect to see this. This very well may be too much for him to handle. I love it. He's taking a beating, but refusing to stay down. Sometimes when you're in a match like an elimination chamber, that little extra adrenaline keeps you going. In a back and forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. Oh, the Big Show riding a huge wave of momentum right now. As you may remember, Kurt Angle actually fired Braun Strowman back in January of 2018. And guys, I can't help but wonder how different the WWE landscape would be if that firing actually stuck. What a stomp. Good grief. He may very well have run out of gas. On the topic of Strowman's temporary firing, I could think of more than a few superstars who wished it stuck. Kane and the bar immediately come to mind, considering what he did to them at the Royal Rumble, and we've got a cover. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. And he kicks out. What a match. Haymaker connects. Point of the elbow, nailed it. at how exciting this match has been. This is the kind of action you expect when you see these six superstars in the ring.
This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. He wants no part of the outside. Here it comes. Looking for choke slam straight to hell. This one is over. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. Not today. victory here tonight. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. Guys, somehow the Elimination Chamber manages to get even more exciting with each passing year.